Hello and welcome to episode 29 of the Game Dev Tutorials. Um, today we're going to add gold to the game. Um, to do that, we're going to add an int to, uh, for gold to player. We are going to create a, de a delegate and a function in world in order to handle gold, and that comes with uh, adding a packet class. And I wanted to do that for a while, so uh, I kept saying, oh, you can create a packet for this, oh, you can create a packet for that. I keep mentioning it, but I haven't done it yet, um, and so I want to do that. I didn't write that in here, sorry, but uh, we're definitely going to do that. Um, we're going to add the value for killing something to uh, attackable objects. We are going to pass attacker into get hit. We are, we are going to uh, add gold to the player when something dies. And then we are going to uh, test for gold before uh, being allowed to build a tower. So, oh, and I forget to mention we also have to add it to the UI. Um, so that's our goals for today. Um, it'll be relatively quick, I think. Um, but this is something I've wanted to do for a while. Get the currency in, and that way we can start to slowly find some more balance for the game. Um, and then uh, there's one quick cleanup bit that I want to get into before we get into other things. All right, let's jump into that real fast. Um, that's in unit, uh, or sorry, hero, and it's when we right click. So when we right click, uh, we need to um, say current skill dot uh, target effect dot done. That's true. Um, and then. Um, dum dum dum. Inside, go so go to definition. And then to reset here. I think. Hold on. No, we can't reset here. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. So, um, what was happening there was the target circle was just sitting on the screen. Um, if you right clicked, so that was no good. We didn't want that. Okay. Um. Let's get started on the stuff for today. Um, so over here in player folder, players folder, we're going to add a new item, uh, and we're going to call this player value packet. We're going to add that. We're going to grab some includes. And then what is this? What is a packet? Well, a packet, if you're talking about um, uh, networking, is you know the data that you're sending back and forth. It's a piece of the data, or, or the whole data, depending on if the packet is large or small. Um, when I talk about a, pu a packet uh, in just normal terms, non-networking terms, what I mean by a packet is just a, a set of data that can be passed through as an individual um, piece of an individual variable so um, oftentimes as an object itself so uh, this one where value packet is going to consist of two um, parts public uh, int player ID and public object value. Um, now, it's just an object because we can pass whatever the heck we want into it. That's important. Now, this is supposed to be an object. I said it, but then I got the wrong thing in there. Okay, and then so let's let's pass that stuff in real fast. Um, value okay and then player ID equals player ID and value equals value. okay so why do I need this what what is this for well if you come into here you'll notice pass object well that takes one object right well now a player value packet is one object so now all of a sudden it works for these so rather than having um, a new type of delegate for every different type of uh, number of variables to pass through, we'll just pass in 
this packet, then we're good. So pass gold. Okay, let's set that equal in here. Uh, well, first we have to add gold. Get an add gold. EFG. Okay, public virtual void add gold. Um, and then object info. And then in here, we are going to say um, player value packet packet equals info and this is a player value packet okay so we have to cast it otherwise you won't know what kind of data is inside of it if you pass anything else in here it's going to break so don't do it um, and then uh, this really really should turn this into a loop but we haven't done it yet so I'm not going to fight with it currently um dum 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 packet packet and this is gonna say player ID player ID okay um and then we're not doing this <clears throat> we actually have to go in quickly here and do this <coughs> sorry <clears throat> got some some build up going on all right uh and then just gold here no big deal and then you know uh gold equals let's start with 10 gold just just for now that way we can place one tower before anything else so we have user dot gold equals packet dot value but we have to cast this and then we do the same thing for AI player again this these players really should be on a loop the fact that they're not is starting to get a little stale for what we're doing. Um, I know I did it early on to make it easy to explain, but we're going to have to start cleaning up some of this nonsense. All right, um, so that will add the gold to the proper user. And then you could say, well, you could just do this in user or in player or in AI, yada, yada, yada. Whatever kind of player you're using, you can. Yep, yep, you sure could. Um, but then you can't use a global to do it. Uh, because then if the AI needs to be able to earn gold in some way, um, you can't use a global delegate in order to make this happen. In this fashion, if you play, pass the user ID and you pass the amount of gold, now you can use a, a global delegate to do it, and there will be times when that is important. It actually will not be important for this specific tutorial, but that does not make it not important um, other times. So, all right, so we have that. Um, we have the delegate, we have our packet. We now need to check what we're doing. <laughs> um, kill values, let's do that real fast. That's that's a good one. Um, attackable objects here, and then we'll say kill value. And then, so we'll set the standard to kill value equals one. Um, and that'll be good all except for on our spiders. So over here in spider, we're gonna say kill value equals three and in our um, 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 um it's in our spawn points there we go we're gonna say our portal is equal to five and our egg sack is equal to two why just so we have a bunch of different numbers okay um these are not designed to be balanced numbers. This is something that we have to balance later. These are numbers for testing. Okay, so we have kill values. Awesome. Back to our little thing here. Pass attacker to get hit. And if dead, add gold to the player. Cool beans. Um, attackable object, get hit. I'll say, um, Attackable object, attacker, I think. Let me, let me see how I did that. Yep, that is exactly how I did it, except with capitals. Okay, and then um, in right here, we are going to say uh, game globals dot 
pass gold and then a new player value packet and then uh, attacker dot owner ID and then uh, the value is kill value okay so that will deal with adding the gold um, if we build this real fast we're gonna get it to break and then we'll have to go through these on an individual basis so here is gonna be owner so in projectile it's owner in spiderling it's this because the spiderling is attacking the unit so this is attacking in mob it's this so same thing as with the spiderling and then here we're in projectile 2d so it's going to be the owner of the projectile boom okay did that let's rebuild just make sure we got them all cool got them all so that's all in um i know we have to do the ui so let's, let's grab this mumbo jumbo here and these are already declared now so cool and then this is going to say gold and this is going to be um world dot nope world dot user dot gold okay so that will now display our gold um okay let's check back in with our prompt it appears that it's just this now um this is going to be something that we are going to change where it happens so we have been taking okay so it's just all the entire t if we're going to take that and we're going to put it in user so in player user Okay, and we're gonna have a couple things to fix. These are gonna be user dots, or sorry, hero dots. And then uh, this is just gonna be ID now. Okay, so two quick, uh, three little tiny itty quick, bitty quick changes. And now we have access to uh, gold here, so. In this area we're gonna say uh, if gold greater than or equal to 10 and then if we place the building we're gonna say gold minus equals 10 right now those variables we can attach to the buildings and get the value from the building and blah 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 blah, blah. we can get all that done um, I'm not gonna focus on that right now I'm gonna just try to get through this uh, so now when we run the game we should get money for killing things and we should only be able to build a tower when we have 10 or more so let's figure out if we did this correctly or not okay so far so good over here gold is not displaying it's displaying in the wrong spot and we broke something um There's not an instance of an object. Attacker. Kill value. We didn't set up pass gold. Whoops. So here we go. Let's add gold. Good, done, sweet. Um, and then our UI, I messed up. So we needed to do this, but we also needed to turn this into 40. 40. So it'll be in the top left-hand corner to tell us our gold. All right, let's try this again. There's our gold value. It's 10. I can place one tower. Now if I move and I try to place another one, it doesn't work. Kill the imp. Got one. If I kill the spider, I should get... Ooh, I got nothing. Ooh, what did we do? I know what we did. We screwed up. So if we come in here and we go to add gold, we set equal to instead of plus equals. That was a dumb little mistake. Let's try this again. 
All right, there's our tower. Can't build another one. We should get three for killing this guy. One for the imp. Oh, now we're going up. That's good. Uh, I'm going to place another tower. There we go. And we're killing things. We're killing lots of things. We are building more towers because we can. And awesome. Our currency system is now working. We can continue to build that up and what's not all right guys that is the video for today um i do plan on doing the draw ordering to fix the trees over here uh with the next update um i chose to delay it till the 30th um tutorial because i want to pass out Ooh, we got a bug of some sort here we'll have to figure out what that is later oh <laughs> We should have lost. That was what the bug is. And these guys can't find a target. Anyway, um, so I'm going to do the draw ordering next, which is a, um, it's just one class, but it, it's definitely, oh, it's a couple classes. But anyway, um, it's something to, that I want to give to you guys so you guys have it um, in perfect working order. Um, and so uh, in keeping with so far the tradition of, Ending out the entire project at every 10th uh, episode interval. I'm going to do that. So, um, yeah. I wanted to do that then. Anyway, uh, if you liked the video, please make sure you hit the like button. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. If you are finding this helpful or you're enjoying it at all, just please share this with your friends. Um, let people know about this channel. We're still small. Um and uh growing growing would help a lot um if you are getting um any kind of professional help out of this please uh throw a couple bones my way support me on patreon um and uh it'll it'll help us out or i spend i will spend i haven't yet had enough money to do so but i will spend the money on art for this project i will spend it on improving the channel i will not be sitting here and just money grubbing that's not what I'm doing. Um, I'm here to teach. I want to teach. I want to help you guys. Um, and I hope I'm being helpful. So um, anyway, you know what? Check out the Patreon. Just consider it. I do listen to the patrons. Uh, if they have ideas, I am trying to weave them in. Um, and I will continue to do so. So uh, big thanks to the patrons. Um the patrons i'm saying that retarded for some reason um it really does uh make me happy that you guys are willing to help me out um anyway i will see you guys next week and we will cover draw ordering all right have a good one